Kitty hey everyone and welcome to, to another Big Red Mew review. Yes, I think you want to get a little bit of light. I watched it last night and then again we're reviewing it because it's a bit tired to do anything all the human gonna say. This movie from 1987 and it's the movie Creeper Swords. And it's, and it's directed by David DeCotro. Roderick, Dave, Enoch Dark, David DeCoddle. Very small cast, six people in in in, in all. And later, Gringley, Ken Habron, Michael Arena, Richard L. Hawkins, Ash <clears throat> Ken McKemmy, and jo Joey Wilson. Woman. <laughs> yeah, the the good right name. The plot of the film is a group of survivors to try to avoid a battle of World War Three when they try to, to try to escape to the quiet land when they encounter something much more deadly. I got previous review go took about likes, disappointment and dislikes. Okay, I'm showing the locks. The film is very short. It's 12 minutes, one minute, 12 minutes, sorry. And the movie is just fast paced. So it makes the story run nicely. So you never get bored of it. You never get bored of this movie. The director, David De Codrell, did a good job. It's well edited, well paced, and and also the writer is David Inistark. With with David the Coral that also did a good job in his role as well. The acting is sold for what it is. You know, there's only five main characters and one minor character who we only here to start a film and the woman at the start looks like she's some type of scientist or research worker so we got you know Lena Quigley Quigley she's played Belanca she's one of the main female leads we also got Ken Abram Butch, he did a good job in his role. Michael Anna Aranda as Jesse, Richard L. Hawkins as Jack, he turned out to be the movie hero, and Ken McCammy. Funny thing about this lady, after, after this, she went on to doing adult movies under the name of Ashlyn Gear. And we can't go have an 80s movie without news here. Yes, um, Lena, Quigley, once again, Quigley, once again, reveals her top and buttock. Yep, and you see her remove her top and see her boobs, and then she's in the shower. Of another guy. Just then it is yeah. Too many people in show, but nothing too much to to really mention. You know the um, the plot where it goes where they these five people you know they Start to rain and they had to quickly had to get out because the rain is acid. So they they come across this research facility, and we, that woman was at the start of the film. Yes, yeah, so, um, they encounter some weird thing going on in this film. They had to figure out what's going on. Yes, um, the creature's design is pretty cool. 
I mean, we get the big giant rats, big mutant rats, and we got this um, one of the women, you know, Richard Kate, Ken McCammy, she gets killed by the rat, and she right on turns into a zombie. And which was, and that was pretty cool also, but she attacks, you know, Bianca and goes, um, Bianca and not, you know, getting the best of her and dropping this real heavy bookshelf on top of her. And she spit up black blood or what the heck that was. Yeah. Yeah, everyone, you know, copped up black blood in this movie when they, something happens to them. One of the guys gets attacked by something and we see him die by his face changing and his arm um, changing into something else. Pretty cool. A bit bloody. The some design is pretty cool. And we see this big monster who kills Bia Bianca, you know? Yeah, she's one of the death of the movie. You're hoping she'd be one of the ones to live to the end, but her death is probably pretty cool. She can lift up and you don't see her actually having what's going on at the top. You don't know how the monster was biting in the head or what because she saw this. You know, a lot of blood is dripping downward, you know, rushing down, there's poor blood. And we're left with Jack, the remainder of the, of the group. And then because the order has to get killed by the, you know, the creatures and the rats and have that big monster. Because the monster will open the yarn and should saw this thing. Wow. Pretty cool, I've got a big alien with fangs or what the heck was hanging down his mouth. A lot of design. Look like a man in a rubber suit though, but what do you expect from that is? Big fight with the monster, and the monster dot, and you know, Jack kills the monster century, and then something weird thing happens. We see another creature come out of the monster, or Alan, or whatever the heck you want to call this thing. <laughs> it looks like a baby with jagged teeth. I mean, this thing is real intense and sicko, you know. Because the Jackie and you know, I getting chased by this, this baby, and, <laughs> and you think the baby's dead, and Jack lets the facility, and the baby picks up and looks at the camera. Oh, and also, Jack gets thrown around like a ragged by the monster, so you think, oh, hey, Jack can't get killed, but. Mm. When it gets to disappointments, they make it very short. And you think the you know, why the chunks of this film is missing. Because it's so fast you paced. And most of the time the dialogue is a bit so most of the time it's quite cheesy. Very big graded and what you expect and the music you know technical very technical you know very you know synthesized but not not to tell a lot and i find it in the movie when that text going on yeah it worked well because it started it started it started music started the movie you know we got that music going on, and you know, like they copied, you know, um, another movie, you know, like 
you know, Robocop, you know, we see the green writing going cook, going across the screen, you know, and we look like a, a computer like, you know, on a, on a computer. Yeah. And, if, and this movie just look like a real alien design. Very cheap looking. Like this movie was made on a low budget. Yeah. But for now, there's a decent movie. I mean, Shotland. I mean, the acting is okay for what it is. Got the kills when they occur. You know, and, um, once one is not even shown, which is the one with the start, she's just screened and cut to, you know, to the credits. You know, the opening credits. Then they catch the main actors walking around to the final facility. After a while, things just get out of hand. And the rats appear and the monster appears and and this warm turns into a zombie and this weird looking baby thing comes. And, <laughs> yeah, and, um, like I mentioned, dialogue is a bit cheesy. And a will be great look. So overall, this is a big great movie. So I, I greatly can eat that and catch you all later. Bye for now.